You know, recently there's been a lot of talk about Adobe. There was a big uproar going on because Adobe, they said, well, at any moment, at any time, uh, the company can take a look at what you are doing with your project or AI can also manually do that as well. Did you know that they're also being sued by the United States government? Yeah. Things are not looking so good for the company that brought us Photoshop and Illustrator, Premiere, and so many other really great applications. So if Adobe is kind of turning you off right now, I'm sure they'll be just fine. But let me tell you about a great alternative, Kittle. Guys, I'm gonna make a bootleg graphic from scratch of one of my favorite artists ever, none other than Rick James, and I'm gonna use nothing but Kittle. Let's get it. So we're right here on the Kittle homepage. You can go click templates, t-shirts, and look at all of these amazing templates that you can make your own. I like this one right here, the Conqueror. And we're gonna turn this into, believe it or not, a Rick James graphic. So we're gonna open it and we're gonna take it. And first thing we're gonna do is gonna get rid of this guy here. We don't need that. And we're gonna move the Conqueror part up to the top, okay? And we're gonna change the text from the conqueror to something a little different so let's move that up to the top and let's go to this background you see all this stuff you can move around the lightning and the stars and the quasars you can move all of that around okay and you can go in and play with all the layers so we're going to go down and we're going to find the layer that it has a that has a, a distress in the background and I don't really want that. So we're gonna get rid of it. And now we're gonna go up from the Conqueror and we're gonna change that to the Super Freak. All right, already feeling like Rick James. So you can click on the Conqueror and the type will show right up and you just backspace, delete and write out Super Freak. Now, usually I would use Photoshop to remove backgrounds. I would take the lasso tool, go and select what I want, and then either delete or use the eraser. But with Kittle, just hit a button. Boom, it's done. So with Kittle, you pretty much go and make a new project, upload your artwork, which is the Rick James photo. You size it to how you want it. You click remove background, and it's done. Just like that. Now let's download this because we're gonna bring it up in our other artwork. So now that we're back into our artwork, you wanna go over here to click upload, right? You go up there and click, and then you upload that artwork and it comes right into the graphic. And it's imported right into the graphic. And there he is, Mr. Rick James. And we're going to size him up and then we're gonna click over the elements and we're gonna put in wings. So we're gonna find some wings for Rick James cause he has transitioned. He's up in that big funk concert in the sky. So I'm going to go in and just gonna click and I'm gonna put a bunch of different wings on him to see which ones I like best. And this shows you how much uh, clip art that Kittle has. So you're going to see me go through quite a few to find the one that's just right. And finally, I come on these and you can see that it has all the same colors that are in the graphic and has those dark tips. This is it. So let me take that and we're going to right click and we're going to move them behind him. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now at the bottom, I want to put his name. So I'm going to do a Google search for Rick James logo and this pops up and we're gonna download that and let's pull it up into our graphic. All right, so we upload that and we're gonna move that down to the bottom and look at that. Now guys, before anyone comes to me and say, is that legal? Is that this? Guys, this is for entertainment and personal use only. I am not selling this t-shirt. If you wanted to do Rick James or any celebrities t-shirt, you have to get permission from the artist or use a third party company that they use to do merchandise, okay? So if you wanna get true Rick James merchandise, go to rickjames.com, right? And buy something and his family and his estate will be compensated, all right? 
I'm not selling this t-shirt. Back to the video. All right, we're practically done. We're just gonna, you know, spruce it up a little bit, get everything just right. And we're gonna go over here back to elements. We're gonna put in paint splatter because I just wanna add little little doohickeys. I'm gonna add a bunch of them and we're gonna make them red to match the boots and just overall bring everything together, all right? So we're gonna go over here and we're going to get rid of the backgrounds, which will be great for printing. We're gonna size it to be exactly what we want, and we're gonna make it to be 300 DPI, and we're gonna download it, and it's ready to print. Guys, Kittle is a monster, and there's gonna be a link for it down in the description box. Please check it out. It's a great alternative to some, you know, some people who might, you know, be doing some shady business. And there you have it, done deal records you know sometimes i wonder what it would have been like had i not gotten to the t-shirt business and become a rock star everybody say Ah, I kind of like that. Anyway, guys, I fooled around with y'all long enough. I'm going to put some butt on my shoes and slide on out the door. And check out this video we did on Kittle. I think you're really going to like it. Peace. T-shirt help, Russ. I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>